A young woman shows up to her Airbnb to find out someone is already staying there. In the great American comedy, Joe Dirt, Christopher Walken's character says, it's home, it's all wrong. Now I say that quote a lot when referring to movies, specifically horror movies, but I'm happy to report that Barbarian, the tone is just right. This is one of those movies that the less you know before you watch it, the better. And thankfully and surprisingly, the trailer, which I didn't watch until after I saw the movie, gives very little of the plot away. The story starts off very intriguing as we are introduced to our two main characters. One of them is portrayed by Bill Skarsgård, who is most well known for playing Pennywise the Dancing Clown in the newest two movies based on Stephen King's It. Now, because I associate Bill Skarsgård with Pennywise the Clown, I knew right off the bat that him being alone in a house with our protagonist, who is a young, bright-eyed girl looking for her break in a new city, was going to bring trouble. The first 40 minutes of Barbarian is incredibly tense. I feel like I shouldn't say that it's Hitchcock level suspenseful, but it's in that ballpark. The dark rainy night in an Airbnb in a really bad part of town spent with a stranger. What could be more suspenseful? Well, let me tell you, there are more pieces that you can add to that formula to make it more tense, and the movie adds every single one of them. The writing is smart. Each scene is set up in a way where the audience knows exactly what the main characters should do, and in most cases, they do the right thing, but not always. But at the same time, it plays with the audience's perception of each character. Who is as they seem and who isn't as they seem? Who should we be rooting for and who can we trust? Barbarian isn't just a movie about these two young adults in an Airbnb. It's really three different stories in one. Each one adds more depth to the main overarching story and even perfectly sets up a sequel slash prequel, but not in the traditional way that most horror movies do. If I described how the story bounces around, it would kind of sound like it didn't make any sense, but I promise you it flows together very nicely. Now, after that first 40 minutes, we are introduced to a new set of characters and we get a short break from the tension. It seems jarring until the stories come together and the movie finds another more suspenseful gear that I didn't think was possible. Now, I've heard a lot of people compare Barbarian to The Evil Dead or Malignant, but I don't really agree with either of those statements. There are definitely tone shifts throughout and there is some lighthearted stuff, with one scene that I found particularly hilarious that involves Justin Long's character and the tape measure. For the most part, Barbarian is just an expertly crafted story full of suspense that is a bit unbelievable. And while there are some jump scares, most of the scares come from the sense of dread. Well-positioned camera shots mixed with characters that you actually care about and other characters who you are terrified of. It isn't a dreadful movie. It's not going to ruin your day. It's not going to give you nightmares. It is just a fun, well-acted, well-shot, well-edited, multi-generational story. It's fun in the same way that going to a haunted house is fun. This feels like a horror movie for the masses. It isn't overly gory. It isn't full of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. The language isn't over the top, and there aren't any cheap scares. With that being said, definitely not for kids. It's hard to believe it was directed by one of the guys from the Whitest Kids You Know comedy troupe and co-stars the Apple Computer Guy from those Mac vs. Windows computer commercials. I believe when 2022 ends, I will declare Barbarian as the best horror movie of the year. A celebratory bottle of wine, dark, scary basements, driving up the coast in a convertible, enthusiastically using a tape measure, locking your door, making the bed dressed as a ghost, picturesque suburban neighborhoods, pulling mysterious basement ropes, 